Um, grace, grace to you good people over the world. Um, Genesis chapter 11 verses 4. Okay, and um, the title for your bread is Religion versus Christianity. I like this. The NKJV version says, And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. So these are the people that wanted to, that wanted to build the city of Babel, a tall building that could reach heaven. Hallelujah. And they could do it because God said nothing can stop them. Actually, God had to come and, 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 and confuse them with language because you can't stop a people who have one language to accomplish whatever they want. So they wanted to build a tower that goes towards heaven to make a name for them. Hallelujah. Now, Listen carefully what I'm going to say in the next few minutes. Man, after the flood, received a command from God through Noah to be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth. Genesis chapter 9 verses 1. But the people who built the Tower of Babel forgot their place and resolved to climb to heaven. Instead of multiplying in the earth, they wanted to go to heaven. Not by the door or ladder, but some other way. I suppose that they wanted to be like the most high. Because why would they want to go to, on top to heaven, right? Or desire to come as near as him as they could, not in holiness, but in height. You understand? So, in trying to build themselves a city and reaching out to the heaven their way, they created a system that is contrary to the way of God, which is the spirit of religion today. Walk with me. Religion is man's endeavors to reach God. Hallelujah. Whereas true Christianity is God's endeavors to reach man. These ones are trying to go from, from down to heaven, but God is coming from heaven down. You understand what I'm saying? That's religion and Christianity. The finite, the finite mind, the finite man trying to reach out to the infinite. And this is impossible. You can't start from down going up. You can't. It is impossible. But to say that the infinite God reaching out to the finite man, that is possible because it is the spirit of Christianity. John 4, 23 tells us it. God is seeking. Hallelujah. It is God seeking man from heaven coming down. God is seeking. That is possible. Hallelujah. Now, walk with me. This pattern keeps following themselves in man's pursuit of God through what we know as law and grace. The law says man initiate so God can respond. Grace says God has initiated so man can respond by faith. I'll give an example. The law says I have fasted for 40 days so God you are obligated to bless me because I have fasted. <laughs> This is a spirit of religion trying to reach out to God through man's good efforts. Are you understanding that? Grace, on the other hand, says, Your fasting will not cause me to bless you because you are already blessed with every spiritual blessing. You don't have to fast to be blessed. Okay? Your fasting is a response, is a response to what I have already done. You are not fasting to get the blessing. You are fasting to manifest the blessing that is already yours. Romans 4, Romans 4 verses 16, the Bible says, It's of faith that it might be according to grace so that the promise might be sure. So it's of faith, not works. Are you understanding me? So the Bible says, Colossians 2, 6, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. I have a question. How did you receive your salvation? How did you receive your healing? How did you receive your blessing? How did you receive your provision? By grace through faith, right? How then do you walk in what you have received? By grace through faith, not works. Hallelujah. So child of God, it's that simple. Galatians 3, 5, the Bible says, Therefore he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you, does it do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Answer me. It's faith. You're healed by faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. So friends, Religion builds from without, that is your works, whereas Christianity builds from within the work of God, which is to believe in Jesus Christ. With religion, man is seeking to become 
Whereas in Christianity, it is God's endeavors to make known to man what he already is in Christ Jesus. So listen to me. Build from within going out. Don't build from without coming in. Jesus didn't leave a building, but religion built him one. But for us, we build from within, focusing on that which Christ has already done. If you respond to what Christ has already done by grace through faith, everything is by grace through faith. I can guarantee something, that the best is yet to come. And God bless you.